All right, guys, so another morning, another day here in South Florida, and we're here with my boy, Abojo. Um, you know that he basically sold the Ferrari for me, and then, well, he sold me the Ferrari, and then he sold the Ferrari for me, and was able to get me the new car for the channel for you guys, this beautiful M4 GTS. Look at, I mean, this thing is gorgeous. Look at that. Look at, it even matches my uh, rose gold and black. <laughs> and this video is brought to you by Rose Going Black. Rose Going Black is one of our partners, and you guys need to check it out. I have the link down below. You guys can get bead bracelets, you can get necklaces, rings, and watches. Rose Going Black has an amazing price for you guys, the family of the Zunigas, that you guys can check out right now. Everything is heavily discounted for you guys. I'm telling you guys, I love wearing this stuff, and it go looks great with everything that I wear, and it's very masculine, and you guys are not going to be disappointed. A lot of you guys have been getting it for their birthdays, Christmas, and stuff like that, and you guys have loved it. So check out Rose Going Black, because you guys are missing a lot of amazing things right now just for not checking it out. Now, let's get back to this beautiful car. I mean, look at this. Ooh. Carbon fiber, composite here. This to close the door. Look at those. Look at that roll cage, baby. Holy crap, that's beautiful. No back seat. There's a roll cage back here. So, damn, look, carbon fiber. The guy that had this matched the color of the outside because this doesn't come standard in the in these cars. Damn, look at this. This is beautiful. Man, look at the seats. A little hole in here. <laughs> look at the seat belts. M seat belts. There's the M logo. Love it. Love it. Only has about 3,000 or 2,000 miles on it. Look at those wheels. Pilot Sports Cups 2's in there. Look at those wheels. This is gorgeous. All right, so let's turn it on. Ooh. Hear that? This thing only has 3,848 miles on it. So, this is how you close it. <laughs> Damn, this is sexy. Sounds disgusting, bro. It sounds mean. It sounds as nasty as... Right, put so. my seatbelt on, he doesn't want to die today. Bro, how raw is a car when it comes with the freaking roll cage from factory, like, bro? Dude. Man, I've never even liked BMWs. Now I want a BMW. What the hell is this, bro? This one's sick. So low, I have to be careful here with the lip. So does it have like dual exhaust or is it just... Is the car warmed up for you to punch it? Has he been driving uh, it or not? I don't think so. It doesn't have a nose lift? No. Because the, with the beauty of the RS, it just sounded like so pure, right? Like there wasn't anything filtering the sound. And then, bro, you can hear the click, clack, click, clack yeah. of the shifts, bro. That's what I want to hear with this thing. Bro, the attention to detail in this car. Look is at that little GTS here on the Alcantara. The, the attention to detail, look at this. Carbon fiber. The, the orange to match the orange on the wheels on the outside and on the front lip to match the orange roll gauge. Crazy, crazy attention to detail in this car. Bro, I don't even sounds like BMW, bro. Sounds mean. You hear that? What you the hell? Bro, that sounds That's so mean. raw, bro. It just sounds, sounds like, like pure, a monster, bro. bro. You don't gotta do anything to this car. No. That's it. I mean, I can even get a tune and get an extra 50. And, and how about the water thing in the back? I have to, you put some water. But that's that you're putting water goes up to 500 or around 500. Then I do a VF engineering has a tune an extra that still 50. bumps it more, yeah. So 550 around Whoa. 550. You hear those burbling sounds, bro? Now Jose wants a new car. Damn it, this is this is Jose should have stayed working. This is what we should have. <laughs> Jose has bills to pay, he has a wedding to do, he has way too much going on right now. Man, oh man. I'm getting an RS after this. 
I thought you were gonna keep the Camaro. No, I need a track car. Screw this crap. The Camaro is a track car. No, 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 no. I need a, I need a beast track car. That Camaro slips, bro. Oh yeah. It's beautiful. I love a Camaro. Look at me, bro. Damn, it's so sexy though. Bro. Like I just let go of the accelerator. You're, you're not even downshifting. He says when you downshift from third to second, he thinks flames come out. Ha. You definitely need a freaking. That's just me letting go of the accelerator. That's how raw it sounds. It sounds amazing. Beautiful car. I love it. I love it. Like, I wasn't 100% sure, but I tried the M2. I loved it. And I thought I was going to go with this one, that one. But I saw how raw. I've never liked a, a BMW up until I got into and this. And come on. Thing. There's only 700 in the world. 300 in the US. Which, that makes it even cooler. Exactly. That makes like, it real cool. This car in like it, 10 years, it could probably be worth a lot of money. If exactly. You keep it. It's a collectible. If you keep it? because yeah. like, I have the sticker. I have both keys. Like, I have everything I to would make just it. keep it. Yeah. Have, have it as a collectible. You know what it saying? could turn into like the M1. Kind of. You know, the M, the 1M. It's not M1. Or the 1M. The 1M. is It was 2011. You can still get them for like 65000 which is insane. You know what I'm saying? So I can't imagine. I don't think this car is going to devalue anymore. No. I don't see this car selling for 50k. No. I think it hit what it had to devalue. Now it can. It will just go back up. Just go up now. And I love that previous owner got this color badge. What? The the paddle shifter. He did that on his own. Yeah, because it doesn't come oh, this color. I that so was from factory, either, either BMW did it for him or he had somebody carbon fiber all Beautiful. Day. Beautiful. power to have fun it's more than enough oh yeah this thing's fast very fast it, it has launch control i'm pretty sure I, I would have to look into it but uh it's very fast i don't want to tempt it so people can see how cool that, that i have a freaking roll cage in the back and it's gonna be a pain for the person don't to try tempt, me. but like it's solid you know i don't think this is a car for a father to be honest <laughs> obviously you want it <laughs> just flip that over here Keep the Z01. Love this. I know the BMW. Can't you play contro motion control BMWs? I know the new ones. I don't think this one can. I mean, this is raw. You, you, they don't they didn't want to add all the bells and whistles to it. But I wonder if it's... No, it's not touched. So everything's controlled through here, which is fine. You know, it makes it... I'm, I don't like reaching over. I rarely use touch screens. I don't, yeah. I almost always use the buttons on yeah, the wheel. On the wheel or if, like, I had the... Um, my wife's car, I used this. A little wheel. It's touch, so but this is isn't. I know the new M2 is touch if you wanted to do it, and it has gestures. This one doesn't, which is fine. I don't need that. All right, guys. So yes, I got the M4 GTS, and I've been driving on the highway. I got it. I got on the highway, and I haven't had a smile this big since my GTR. Uh, the GTR was fun. It was fast and all that. And I, I always loved driving it. You know, that was the, one of the, my biggest mistakes, getting rid of the GTR and getting the Ferrari. Um, the Ferrari was fun. It was cool. You know, it was it was more of a, you know, I had a Ferrari. You know what I'm saying? It was always, there's always a little kid's dream car having a Ferrari. Even though it was the California and a lot of people complained there was a California whatever. In my life, I had a Ferrari where, you know, I, I accomplished it. I accomplished getting the Ferrari. But it wasn't fun. It wasn't like the GTR. I love that GTR. And I can say I love this M4. I have, I've had the biggest smile on my face driving this thing um, up. And I can tell you right now, I love it. I'm so glad I got rid of that Ferrari and into this GTS. Even though it's a huge jump in price, you know, I'm basically going down. Um, or, or downgrading what a lot of people say but I don't feel it I don't feel it as a downgrade I feel that any car is a beautiful car it doesn't matter the price and as long as you have fun and you enjoy it the important thing is that you enjoy it and have fun and right now I'm loving this car 
it looks great it looks aggressive it sounds amazing so i'm totally totally in love um I, let me get to the office and i'll give like a more a more detailed look of on the car showing you how the hood is all carbon fiber and you know little things in and out so uh let's get to the office and finish this up all right guys so as promised here's a little overview of the car um my biggest thing with this car is like it's so low but that front splitter looks amazing uh, as you can see carbon fiber roof carbon fiber wing and the hood is carbon fiber as well so let me show it to you guys real quick no uh, thing here you have to do it twice so now it's open. As you can see, it's all carbon fiber. Here's the beautiful engine. It's super, super light. And then let's show you the water induction system. So that's back here you open the back and there it is and you can put some distilled water and that's what gives it that extra about 50 horsepower it's you know you guys have probably heard the reviews about it so i'm not gonna even go further into it um so as you guys know i got it from abojo abojo is the guy that sold me the ferrari and then he was able to help me sell the ferrari to somebody else and he was able to get me this car and um he did an amazing job. He actually put a clear uh, bra on it here. He did it on the um, mirrors. He did it on the fenders, on the hood, on the bumper, on the back bumper as well, just to give it that extra protection. They even, he even put it down here too. You guys can see the little line that goes there. And so thank you Bojo for that. I love this car. I really do love this car. One thing I love about this car too is the tail lights. You see how thin the LEDs are? That, that's something that's pretty cool. Um, other than that, I love the interior. I love the seats there. I saw a lot of reviews saying that they weren't comfortable and honestly, they're not as bad as I thought. I've had cars with more uncomfortable seats than these, so these are not bad at, at all. Um, as you guys know, the roll cage is back here. This thing is solid. I showed you M colors on the seat belt, on the steering wheel. And um, this, never seen it in an M4 before. Um, so I'm assuming the previous owner got it done, um, either by BMW or aftermarket. But um, looks amazing. Carbon fiber, carbon fiber there has the GTS over there. So I'm totally happy with this car. Um, like I said, driving up, I've never had a smile or a grin so big since the GTR and this car has put it back on my face. So yeah, M4 GTS, I love it. I love the wheels. It's not for everybody, but just coming up here, somebody wanted to race me already. And um, it's, a lot of people gave me thumbs up. So I'm excited, I love it. Look how aggressive that looks. That looks badass. Guys, so right now um, I'm heading to uh, a tire shop to install my new wheels. So I got new wheels and um, I, I just can't wait to show you guys. So you guys have seen the Raptor before, so it's really not gonna be, you know, I don't need to show it again, but I'm gonna show you the end result. So the wheels that the Raptor has right now have a positive offset of 34 if I'm not wrong. So I got some fuel wheels and they have an off they have a negative offset of 12. So they will stick out a little bit more. Um, they're 17s as well as the stock, but um, right now the tires I'm gonna leave them for 35s, but I will upgrade to 37s. All I'm waiting for is to do the performance stuff that I need to do with the front bumper. And oh, also I got a back bumper. So I'm gonna do the front and back bumper, do the performance things. After that, I'm gonna do the fenders and then put 37s. So, cause I don't want them to rub and I don't wanna trim anything on the car. I want it to look good. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna drop off the truck and then I'll show you guys the end result. So let's go. All right guys, so I got the wheels back and you can see right there, I wanted that off-roading look. Keep the same 
characteristics of the Raptor. So I went with 17s. So I'm using the same tire right now, but as you guys know, um, I will be upgrading to 37s when I do the new fenders. Anyways, this one, like I said, have a negative 12 um, of offset, so they do stick out a lot more than the uh, stock did. Now these stick out more. The stock were basically running inside of the fenders, which I really didn't like the look. So now with this, they stick out. So you guys can see here, sticks out so much better. I love them. So these are the fuel uh, Sefer, I think they're called. Um, 17s, they come in 20s as well if you want. And they come with this ring is not a real beadlock. I mean, I don't off-road that much or, you know, so I don't I don't off-road that much and I don't need the beadlocks, but it has the beadlock look to it. If I wanted beadlocks, you can get them beadlocks and same style beadlocks and they come with a negative 15 offset. So these come with a zero offset or a negative 12, 17s or 20s. Um, the re with the real beadlock, they come 17s with a negative 15 or a zero offset. And I think they come in 20s as well, but I love these. I think these are perfect. I love how they look. Let me know what you guys think of uh, these wheels, but I love them, so that's really all that matters, right? Um, and they come in red, if you want to get them red, black, or red and black. So, I think it looks beast. I think it looks awesome. I love it. Now I have to do everything else, can't wait. All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Remember to subscribe, like, and share this video so we can keep on growing. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.